Hello everyone, my name is Shilpa Suvarna. Today I am going to teach you the basic uh, stitches which are used in crochet. There are total 6 stitches. So currently I will be showing in this video how to make a slip knot, how to make a chain and how to make a slip stitch which is the first stitch in crocheting. For a slip knot, what you'll have to do is place the thread in this position, hold it like this. There are different ways of slip knot. I'll be teaching you the easiest way. Roll it around like this. Roll it the second time over here. So over here will be a cross pattern and over here you'll have to hold this thread and secure it. So Make sure the fingers are loose enough for you to pull in the second strand of uh, loop from the first strand through the first strand. So what you'll have to do is insert onto the first strand, insert, insert the needle onto the first strand, pull the second loop this way and leave it. The end over here the loose end which is there just pull it and secure the loop so this is how a slip knot is created i'll be doing a row of 20 chains and 20 rows of slip stitch so first i'll start with 20 chains make sure you uh, since you are doing the basic of stitching you will have to make the chain as loose as possible so that it's visible for you to see the stitches you'll be making for the second and third rounds and, and further rounds. This is a secure knot so this is not considered as a slip stitch. This is the first chain. So what you'll have to do is yarn over, pull the loop second chain so make sure you will have two secured thread over here and here so that the threads don't loosen up when you're taking the stitches making the stitches over here yarn over three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. To begin with, This is the first loop of the chain, this is second. So there are three threads in, in a chain. You will have to insert into the first two thread. Pull the loop and you don't have to yarn it over, you just have to pull it through the previous loop. insert pull the loop pull it to your previous loop insert 
pull the loop pull it through your previous loop insert pull the loop pull it to the previous row so what you'll have to do is whenever you're making the second row you'll have to start the counting also the chains we have made was 20 right so the next stitches should be 20 single 20 slip stitches that is starting from here this is the first let me show you this is the first second third fourth fifth i'll be doing the six right now secure the thread six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18 19 and the last 20 okay now what you'll have to do is the second row the turning for the second row you'll have to work on so we have created 20 chains and 20 slip stitch so the way you will have to turn now this is the position your thread is facing since i'm a lefty you will have to turn it towards the right side so when you're working on the right hand side you'll have to turn the work towards the left side this is the last loop what you'll have to do is this loop will go towards the inside and as i said you will have to here is the chain created over here out of the slip stitch you'll have to take two threads so the first one is a little tricky as it is on the edge This is the first stitch. Make sure you keep this also loose so that you won't have the difficulty as I was facing at the end of the stitch. We have done two ro rows of slip stitch. So in the same way, you will have to complete 20 more rows. That is, you will have to turn the thread. Now this is on to your left. Turn it like this.
and the needle goes over here and this thread you will have to and this is where you have ended turn it this way the thread will go towards the inner side and you will start working on the chain space only the previously created chain space of the slip stitch over here two threads on this first two threads so right now it doesn't you are not be able to see how the work is ending up when you complete the 10 the 18 more rows of this so right now two rows are created so once you are done with 18 more rows this is how the stitch will look like so if you can see this is the chain which you have first created so the rows counts this way chain the first row second row is this line third fourth fifth sixth seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen and twenty so the even rows which has a line space that will count be counted and the one in between also will be counted so it will be 20 rows created out of 20 chains this loops you can secure it using a darning needle i can show you how to secure it darning needle is nothing but it is uh, it's not pointed it is just flat at the end like this and will have a hole like this and it's bent over here you can use this or you can use a simple needle which does not have a sharp tip at the end since the threads are small and i doubt it will diffuse but i'll just try insert like this and simply pass it on now if you see i have uh, joined a thread in between over here see here so this will be the back portion and i used a magic knot which i have created but i'll show you in my next video how to make a magic knot insert any way on the back side over here on two four or five of these threads so if it's too tight just don't pull it abruptly just lightly pull it off this and remove the extra thread we'll be doing the same onto the other side also So this is how a slip stitch is created. Thank you.